This is one of my favorite times of the year. And a tradition here at Moss Mountain Farm is to put up our pumpkin house. I love gourd or pumpkin architecture. And every year we try to do it just a little bit differently. We have so many visitors that come to see us in the fall and we love it. We love to share this building, if you will. Um, and it's so much fun to see everybody's enthusiasm about all the holiday or fall decorations that you see around here. But I thought today what I might do is show you a little of the back of the house or uh, some of the uh, armature of this to help you understand how the pumpkin house actually comes together. So um, you can see we use about oh 20 different varieties of pumpkins and there's just a myriad of them, all different colors, shapes and sizes. Um, I love this one. This is called the peanut pumpkin. My granddad used to grow these and would feed them to the cattle. I love the shape and the stripes on them. And then of course you've got these beautiful white ones and then probably my favorite is the Cinderella pumpkin as you can see here. And what we do is we tie them. Come around here and you'll, you'll just see how, the, how this works. I created this metal frame and um, the metal frame is skinned out with just ordinary burlap but we use zip ties on here to hold it together. And then I crafted a series of these metal rings that slide in like this and they drop into a, a little slot like that and then this becomes a shell for a resting place for the pumpkins as you can see here. This is just a standard uh, New England pie pumpkin type um, and just the, the colors I think and the textures make it so interesting. So what we do to, to give it I think a little more of a romantic, if not whimsical look, as I love to collect uh, vines. Um, this is a, an old wild grape vine out of, the, out of the forest or the woodland here at Moss Mountain Farm. And we use these to work into and against the burlap walls before we begin to apply the pumpkins. And then once the pumpkins go up, uh, we put a few more vines on it. You just, you know, too many vines is just enough, right? This kind of gives you an idea of the, 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 the way in which we created the armature, and it's all made of metal. Um, and then along the base, I like to put sort of a water table, if you will, uh, just using bales of straw. And it also gives support for the pumpkins. Uh, in this little art-shaped window, um, I designed a window box or basket, if you will, and those go in there. And we typically will put mums, uh, fall flowers in those window boxes, just as you would an ordinary home. Sometimes we'll just fill it with, with pumpkins. And then the roof, I think, is particularly interesting. Um, sheets of plywood, uh, sheet moss put over it, uh, then chicken wire to hold it in, into place. And then, of course, covering it with all of those vines makes a a very big difference. So come around to this end of the pumpkin house and let me show you uh, what's going on here. You can see we just take an ordinary bit of wire um, and we tie the pumpkins on. If they don't rest comfortably and safely on these rings, we just give them a little bit of support with the wire, which is easily done. And um, what I do is I like to take and put in the large pumpkins and then take turban squash like this and then find places where you just fill in with the smaller ones. And we just keep adding them like this until we get everything in place and fill it in as much as possible. And I like a myriad, a, a, a wide range, almost kaleidoscopic in terms of the colors. So I like to mix them up. You can see we have them strewn out on the ground here. And it's just a matter of picking which one feels like it fits the, in the best place. And you want to keep the colors and so forth balanced out. Now, if you come in for just a moment, you'll see a fun little thing. It's a house at, after all, right? So if you come in, you can see I've got this chandelier and um, we'll, put some, we'll put some little LED lights in here. And then the chandelier basket gets filled with pumpkins and things like that. Just a little touch of whimsy so much fun. So I hope you'll come see us sometime in the fall at Moss Mountain Farm. It's one of my favorite times of the year because there's so much going on in the garden and we're doing fun and creative things like this. Come see us soon.
Hey, if you enjoyed learning a little bit about gourd architecture, I hope you'll like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Tell some friends about it. Also remember, I send out a newsletter every Friday, so just go to pallensmith.com and just sign up there. We hope to see you at Moss Mountain Farm soon, where you can take a spin around the pumpkin house.